Hello, this is Jeff at Magical Fruit Toots. In this tutorial, I will show you how to take an image of the stone statue and turn it into gold. This is done mostly with the Photoshop Mixer Brush tool. The picture I worked with in the tutorial was a grayscale image of a Chinese stone warrior. However, this method should work well for most plain stone statues. Here is a quick one minute summary of the process to let you know what's involved. Start with the original image. Crop it out of the background. Make a temporary green background. Add a color overlay layer style. Add a satin layer style. Apply the unsharp mask filter. Paint the headdress with the mixer brush. Paint the head and neck. Paint the left arm. Paint the right arm and the rest of the torso. Paint the area below the waist. Fixed bleed through areas. Overall touch ups with airbrush. Levels adjustments. Removed background and cleaned up layer panel. Added background and blurred warrior edges to blend in better with background. This is the final image. If you are interested in a detailed tutorial on how to make it, continue watching. Open the statue image. The image I used was Warrior by Leonardo BC at freeimages.com. Its link is in the video description or projects files. Change the mode to RGB if it's in grayscale. Choose Image, Image Size to Resize. Make sure the Constrain Aspect Ratio Control is on. Change the resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Then change the width to 8 inches by Cubic Smoother Enlargement. Make a selection of the Warrior. This is a fairly difficult selection, as it is pretty busy and only has shades of black and white. So I used a pen tool to select the statue. Use whatever method is easiest for you. Once satisfied with the selection, choose Select Modify Smooth with a setting of 6 pixels smoothing. Then add a mask. Now the background layer is converted to an unlocked layer with a mask. Name the layer Warrior. We need a background to help us see the statue better. To make a layer below the Warrior layer, hold down the Control or Command key and select the new layer icon. Choose color number 0A736A as your foreground color. Then press Alt plus Backspace to fill it with the foreground color. Choose a hard round brush, size 4. Click on the Warrior's Layer Mask thumbnail. The foreground and background colors will change to black and white. Zoom in and start cleaning up the edges with your black brush. I've sped up the video here to save time. Once you're completely satisfied with the selection, right-click the Warrior Layer Mask and choose Apply Layer Mask. Next, we will touch up some areas on the Warrior. Zoom into the face and fix the left eye with a black paintbrush. Now 
we need to shadow the right side of his armor vest to differentiate it from the arm that comes around and holds the sword. Choose the burn tool set to mid-tones and a 59% opacity. Use a soft brush size 20 and shadow the edge of his vest on the right side of his body. At this point the changes are destructive, so be careful, and if you make a mistake, use Ctrl Alt Z to undo, then try again. Double click the hand tool to zoom the image to the screen. Make the warrior layer a smart object. Apply a color overlay layer style using color number CC860B and a 54% opacity. Add a satin layer style to the warrior layer. I use the multiply blend color 8F6400. Opacity 44% with an angle of 19%. Distance 45 pixels. Size 168 pixels. And a cone inverted contour. Anti alias checked. And invert checked. Next, we will apply a median filter to smooth out the stone texture a little. Choose Filter Noise Median. Use a radius of 3. Turn off the green layer. To make a composite layer, you must have at least two active layers. So add an empty layer under Warrior Layer. Make the Warrior Layer active. Make a composite layer by pressing Ctrl, Alt, Shift, plus E. Name it Composite. Make it a smart object. Drag the green layer below the composite layer and turn on its eye. Make the composite layer active. We're going to apply the Unsharp Mask filter in order to intensify the lightest areas. Select Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. Set the amount to 240%, the radius to 40 pixels, and the threshold to 24. Add a new layer above the composite layer. Name it Headdress. Right click and clip it to the composite layer. Delete the empty layer at the bottom as it is no longer needed. Make the headdress layer active. We will break up the mixer brushwork into four layers to keep things organized. Layers for headdress, head, torso, and kilt will be used. Hold down the control key and click the new layer icon three times. This will create three new clipped layers below the headdress layer. Name them head, torso, and kilt. For now, let's start out with the headdress layer. Make the headdress layer active. Choose the mixer brush. Set it to brush wet heavy, load solid only, clean brush after every stroke. Use a hard brush size 25. Zoom in on the headdress. Start stroking the mixer brush as demonstrated. Use long smooth strokes. In most cases, make your stroke, then let go of the mouse, then make the next stroke. Try to follow the contours. 
We don't want jaggedy edges or spotty areas. Everything needs to be smooth. Use Ctrl Alt Z to undo if not happy with the way a stroke came out. Next, we'll work on the head. Make the head layer active. Zoom in. Adjust your brush size with the left and right bracket keys as needed. Be sure to follow the contours of the face with your brush stroke. Now paint the torso and arms. Make the torso layer active. The arms have large flat areas. So for the arms, change the mix to 30% and the flow to 25%. Zoom in and use a larger brush. I started with a brush size of 45. Start painting the arms and torso.
change the load to 50% and leave the mix at 30% and the flow at 25%. Continue painting the other arm and the torso area. For the kilt, change the mixer brush back to the wet heavy mix with a mix of 100% and a flow of 20%. Make the kilt layer active. Zoom in to the area below the waist and continue painting with the mixer brush. Next we'll fix an area that the background has bled through to, where the pigment was stretched too thin. Add a layer on top. Hold down the Alter Option key while the mouse is at the bottom of the layer rectangle. Click to clip the layer to the layer below it. Name the layer Fix. Select the brush tool with a hard round brush, size 9. Zoom in to the area on the right side of the warrior's neck. Some of the green background has bled through. Use the Alt key to select colors. Lay down some paint in areas where some of the green background is showing through. This doesn't have to be stroked perfectly as we will touch it up in our final mixer touch up layer. Press Ctrl 0 to fit the image to the screen. Next we will add an overall touch up layer. Add a layer to the top of the stack. Clip it to the layer below. Name the layer 
Touch Up. Choose the Mixer Brush and set it to a wet heavy mix with 20% flow. Choose the Airbrush Soft Round 17 brush from your brushes. If you don't have the brush, open the brushes list, click on the gear icon, choose round brushes with size from the drop down. Click append to append to your current brushes. Then choose the Airbrush Soft Round 17 brush. Go over the image and smooth out any jagged edges, spots, bleed throughs, or inconsistencies. I'm not going to speed paint this as it took a while and I kept finding minor flaws. Just take your time and go over all the sections of the image and make corrections. Here is the image after I made all the touch-up corrections. This might be a good time to save your image. Save it as warrior.psd. Add the Levels Adjustment layer. Clip it to the touch-up layer. Adjust as needed. I use settings of 10, 1.12 and 224. Now we will clean things up. Delete the original warrior layer below the green layer as it is no longer needed. Delete the green background layer. Select the top layer, right click and choose Merge Visible. Rename the layer Warrior. Now we will add a background picture. I use Chinese Landscape by Vera and John Christoph. The link is in the description area or projects files. Place embed the image. Zoom out to see better. Hold down the Shift and Alt keys while dragging the image to fit the background. Adjust the image till the background looks interesting. Press Enter to accept. Name the layer Background. Select the background layer. Add a new layer below it. Fill the layer with color number 177 DEF. Change the blend mode on the background layer to multiply. Apply a levels adjustment layer. I use settings of 10, 1.36, and 225. Select the background layer. Add a Gaussian blur of 4.0. That should complete the background. Next, move the Fourier layer to the top of the layer stack. Select the Move tool. And use the arrow keys to move the warrior over to the right a little, so he's not centered exactly in the middle of the image. Next, we'll blur the edges of the warrior so he blends in better with the background. Select the warrior layer. Control click it. Choose Select, Modify, Contract by two pixels. Choose Select, Modify, Feather for one pixel.
Choose Select Inverse. Then press Delete. Deselect. This concludes the tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it.